The Totgard e-bike, 26 inch wheels, 21 speed, uh, Shimano shifters and derailleurs. The bike itself came very well packed. It actually took longer to take off all of the um, zip ties and stuff in the unpacking. Actually assembling it wasn't that difficult, probably took about 30 minutes. It has a Shimano uh, turny derailleur and shifter system. So it's 21 speed, so you got seven gears in the back, uh, three in the front, and of course you have your shifters here on the handlebars, as well as your brakes. Mechanical disc brakes, I think they're 180 millimeter rotors. The front wheel is detachable, uh, it does have a quick release system. You have a light here in the front, which we can turn off on, and I'll show you in a second here. And a front reflector and a rear reflector, there's no uh, rear brake light. The battery is a 36 volt 10.4 amp hour battery and uh, the motor here in the back is a 350 watt motor so the battery you can uh, remove if you want to charge it off of the bike and you just have to unlock it with the key that's included there is an on off switch here that uh, you can use to turn off the battery if you're not going to be using the bike for a while that'll help prevent battery drain so overall the bike weighs uh, about 45 pounds. It's not super heavy or not, it's not super light either. Got a couple of switches here in the front. So this one turns, if you hold this, it'll turn the light on. And you actually have to <laughs> turn on the bike first. So uh, turn on the bike, you long press the M button here on this display for three seconds. And that'll turn the display on. It is an okay display. It's not super bright, but uh, it depends on the viewing angle of the uh, what you're looking at, it's it's actually pretty visible. It shows you your battery power. Uh, the assist level is indicated with a bar down here. Press up to go to assist level two, and then you have assist level three. Yeah, so down here again, turn the light on like so. And you can see we have the light on now. And then this button here is the horn. Well, one more thing I forgot is on the battery itself, you can press this button and it'll show you the current charge level included. The charging port here is on the side. It is an IP54 rated waterproof uh, charging port. And it takes about five hours to charge from empty to full. Just have some front shocks here, uh, front suspension. You can lock this if you uh, don't want it to actually move. Currently it's in the open position. You just rotate this here and that'll lock the front fork. So this e-bike has uh, three standard riding modes. It's uh, pretty much common on a lot of e-bikes. You can just ride it like a regular bicycle and not turn the power on and just you know do the regular gear shifting, pedaling, etc. It will function pretty much the same as any other bike uh, without any uh, assisted electrical power. The other mode is the um, assisted pedaling mode. So you turn on the e-bike and you can set your uh, assist level one, two, or three, and you'll get um, various amounts of motor assist based on the power level. So of course this is while you're pedaling. And uh, on pedal assist level one, you'll get about, uh, you can get up to about six miles an hour. Pedal, I'm sorry, assist level two, it'll take you up to about 12 or 13 miles per hour. And then on level three, you'll get the maximum, which is 19.8 uh, miles per hour. And I believe it's limited to that because it's a class one e-bike and it can't go any faster than that.
to the unboxing and assembly of the Jason electric bike. Let's get started. First, cut open the shipping straps and then proceed to open the box. Now, you can take out the small box containing the charger, tools, pedals, taillight, and manual. Next, you can pull out the bike from the box and place it on a flat surface. Then, proceed to carefully remove all the safety wrapping from the bike. Make sure you have all the parts ready for the assembly. Prepare the quick-release skewer and the front wheel for installation. Remove the protection cap from the front wheel, lift the front fork, and insert the wheel in place. Make sure the disc brake goes in place properly. Open the quick-release skewer and slide it in place. Tighten the nut and lock the bolt. Next, you can remove the cap and protector from the top of the front fork. Set the handlebar in place. Put the cap back on and adjust the screws to mount the handlebar on safely. Finish by testing that the handlebar stays in place by lifting and turning the wheel. Connect the front light cable to the bike after removing the protecting caps. Secure the front light in place by tightening the bolt. Installing the seat is easy. Just open the quick release bolt by opening the lever. Install the seat to the desired level and tighten the quick release bolt again. Front fork's suspension can be locked or unlocked with the switch located on the right side of the fork. Next are the pedals, which are marked with R and L stickers for easy installation. You can easily screw them in place using the tools provided. Keys for the bike's battery are located below the saddle. Remove the battery by turning the key to the off position. The charging port, USB, and on and off switch can be found under the cover. The optional rear light is powered by connecting it via USB to the battery.
To charge the bike, connect the power cable to the charger and the charger to the battery by using the port under the cover. Make sure the battery is switched off when charging. The rear light can be attached using the strap on the back. Power on the bike by pressing down the LCD power button for about one second. Following that, please choose the desired pedal assistance level. Set the gear level, test the brake, the lights, and that the bike feels solid and is working properly. Enjoy your new Jason bike. Are you tired of riding a traditional bike that requires all your effort, especially when climbing hills or traveling long distances? If so, the Yin Ji Bu electric bicycle is the perfect solution for you. The Yin Ji Bu is equipped with a powerful 1000 watt high speed brushless and Shimano 21 speed gear motor that can easily help you ride up to 25 miles per hour. Plus, with its 2000 cycles of charging, 48 volts, 13AH detachable lithium battery, you can easily bring it to your home or office to recharge in 5 to 8 hours, making it incredibly convenient to use. This electric bicycle also comes with three different working modes that allow you to choose how much assistance you want from the motor. The pedal assist mode will assist you with a moderate amount of power as you pedal, allowing you to ride up to 60 to 90 kilometers before recharging. Fully electric mode is ideal for longer distances, as you can simply twist the throttle to power the motor and ride up to 40 to 50 kilometers on a single charge. And in manual mode, you can pedal the bicycle normally like any other bike. The Yin Ji Bu also features an intelligent controlled digital LCD display that shows your battery level, mileage, and 5-speed options. This LCD display makes it incredibly easy to read your statistics and choose from five different speed modes. Moreover, the Yin Ji Bu electric bicycle is easy to assemble and made of light and strong 6061 aluminum alloy frame, which provides better shock absorption effect and a longer service life. Additionally, it comes equipped with headlights, an aluminum suspension fork, and FR disc brake, ensuring your safety while riding. Don't miss out on the opportunity to upgrade your riding experience with the Yin Ji Bu electric bicycle. It offers convenience, power, and safety, all in one package.